So it's one month later and we are going to take the Christmas lights down. So we're gonna take a look at that waterproof um, outlet that I put together and we'll open it up and we'll see how it held up against the Florida rain and all the weather outside. So just as a refresher, this is what we kind of built. Um, two ends on the edge, then we had this waterproof container with our smart switch inside. Then we put it outside, so we were hoping this would be absolutely waterproof, which for two of them, it completely was waterproof. So we have the first one. We're gonna put all this stuff away. So we have our first one here. We're gonna pull this one out. And then our second one was buried in here. So we're gonna grab this one. Let's grab this. And we are gonna unplug. Let's take a look at it. So we'll see. So, so we can see it looks pretty good. I mean, no real no water in there. Nice and clean. Still running. Still responding. That's perfect. So that's that one. Let's take a look at this other one. Unplug this. Ah, this one, the plug came out. I was noticing why this one wasn't working. Um, so that's our number four. But again, everything's clean here. It's all dry. No cobwebs, no bugs, no nothing. Let's take a look at our last one. Last one over here. This one was kind of hanging, so I, I was expecting things to be in here. Yeah, so we have some water in here. So water did get in this one, so I think this is this was poor the way it was set up. So we do have water. I think this is because. Yeah, so let's pour that out. So I think that's because this one was sort of hanging this way, and uh, water just sort of leaked in there. It finds its way in there. The other two are perfect, so I think we need to keep them sort of this way. You need to keep them flat. Um, I did have a couple, these are GFI switches, uh, or outlets rather, they're, they're connected to GFI. So I did, I did have two instances where the GFI tripped. Oh my goodness, pull that one out. But if we look at the plug itself, and the plug looks fine to me, so it's still working. Um, all right. So this one, this outlet, I think water got into this outlet because it's right by the sprinkler. So it's getting a heavy dose of water um, every time that sprinkler goes off. And then the way it was positioned, just being upright, I think the water just found its way in. So I'm definitely gonna have to revisit how I'm gonna waterproof this one. Maybe with some, maybe with some clear silicone around the edges or something. It didn't, so we'll just, there was water in one of them. I think it was just the angle, it was this one, it was sort of, it was contained like this, and I think just water leaked in through here um, with the cable. I also noticed that on this one, uh, there seemed to be a break. So, so I don't know if you could see, but this one kind of came apart. So I'm not sure. I bought these as a four pack. This was this Kavat four pack that I had bought. It was a little cheaper. But I think in the future, I am gonna stick with the hot heads, the green one. This one just, it's got rubber all the way around it. Um, so does the other one, but I don't know. It just feels, it just feels a little bit better. Um, so I was happy with the way these things performed. They, uh, they worked all the way through. I did have one instance where the GFI tripped, and I think that's because water got in there, and then water got into one of the, um, got got onto the exposed metal and then that tripped the gfi but it tripped and that was okay and i'm pretty sure that was the one that i had right next to the sprinkler so 
Next year, when we put these things outside for Halloween, we will, I'll just revisit what we're gonna do. I'll probably drop some silicone, some waterproof silicone on them all. So all in all, for a month being out there, a little month, month, month and a half, I think they performed well. I didn't really have any instances. The GFI did trip uh, once uh, because of that water sneaking into that one, that one container, you know, this one waterproof thing. And I think I know how to solve this for next time. The Wi-Fi was perfect. The, the, the range of the Wi-Fi going outside was just great. So that was a really good solution. And then these were very inexpensive to make. So after a month, I was very happy with these things. I'm definitely gonna do them next year as well.